beautiful people. So new moon January, feeling all that new moon vibe and feels and energy. I've always felt um, that this artificial rising of energy that is forced to call to a time to move. But what this time of year is really calling is for rest and preparation. And I could really feel that today and the last few days as that new moon has kind of really just dropped into the fabric of time. And I've really felt that so deeply this year as if I feel more rooted or more aligned, I think more rooted. And it's come with such ease and grace. And in around consulting, I'm resting into January, wrapped in blankets, candles burning, and resonance and herbs to cleanse and soothe the space. And one I recommend is pine resin. And I've got some here I'm gonna show you. I've got pine resin burning in this beautiful cast cauldron. And the pine just feels so lovely as a wintertime blessing and as a new moon blessing, just going around the house and gently blessing the space, letting it sit either on the table or on the altar side. It's just so lovely, such a beautiful gift. This was a few Yule, Yules back now. It does, it just holds that resin beautifully. And I love pine. Pine and during the winter just feels, it just feels right. It feels so sacred. And um, you see the pine resin forming in the summertime and I get gifted some and also harvest some of our own as well. And you see it forming during the summer when, when it's really hot and the pine is resin is flowing. And then during the winter time, there's a, for beautiful pine trees that we go and visit and leave an offering and thanks and we just harvest a little um, because during the winter time where it's run during the summer during the winter time it, it, it seals it goes cold and you can just very gently harvest it it's really lovely it just smells like the forest it is divine and so so cleansing and clearing it was beautiful so yeah recommend the pine resin for burning at this time so for me it's a time of hop soups and i'm drawn to bed so much earlier um, and at times with a, a really wonderful book to hand um, a little writing um, a lot actually this tide so much inspiration that's moved from that deep rest inspired from that deep rest this year more than most and it has come with such ease and such grace i do really feel that the true new year begins in march when we arrive at the spring equinox and spring has fully sprung and it begins and while we have those early signs of spring arriving at in bulk something that, that spirit has called the the stirrings of the awakening, moving from the dreaming of winter into the stirrings of awakening, arriving at in bulk in February. Right now we continue to rest. Whilst society at large may have you thinking it's time to go, go, go. Trust your own instinct, moving with the rhythms, especially in these times. After all, rest is not only essential, it is vital. It's not a luxury, it's a must. Otherwise you end up creating burnout for yourself. Now here is a really simple exercise 
the one that really helps you check in with yourself. And I think winter time, it's medicine is gifting this deeper sense of self. So you can take a hand on your heart and do this now or return to it. Take a hand on your heart. Take a moment and take a deep cleansing breath. And as you place that hand on your heart, simply ask, what are your emotional needs? What is it that you need emotionally? And then just take a note of that, write it down. That could be really good, journal it, write it down. You could explore that a little bit more deeply. And then ask yourself, what is it you need physically? What do you need physically? Those first thoughts, those first feelings. That's what's nudging. That's what's moving from within you. And then finally, what is it that you need spiritually? Just breathe into that, take a note of that, reflect on that, and very gently I'm just going to pull a Celtic Spirit Oracle card as a guide as you work with those questions and you work with the seed faults of this video. Okay. Bottom, middle, middle. Okay, so let's have a look. Not sure what this card is. We're going to turn it over. <laughs> let's have a look. The gift. Okay, the gift. It is a gift. Winter is a gift. What we've just shared with you is a gift. Questions that are often overlooked. We overlook what we actually need. And as you know, Spirit have said through, through the words we've penned that rest, after all, is not only essential, it is vital. It's not a luxury, it's a must. Otherwise, you end up creating burnout for yourself. So, winter time is a gift. Okay, and the key words on this are communication, gift. Communication, so communication, what is it that your deeper self is communicating to you? The gift is, the winter is the gift, it's the medicine. And crystals, really interesting crystals, what crystals could support you on that path? I have a really, really dear friend, um, Matt from Golden Glow, who I will tag into this video. He's the man to have a chat to, talk to about what crystals can absolutely support you in strengthening filling back up and resting i'm going to leave all that with you that was really really lovely very impromptu but i felt the call um to explore these new moon vibes these new moon feels and um the wisdom that has flowed through that I'm going to leave all that with you as always sending you all so much love keep shining <laughs>